Hello, welcome back to the vlog. It's been a while, hasn't it? The weather's changed in my absence. I'm in shorts and short sleeves. It's 18 degrees today. This is my second ride in three weeks. That's the least I've ridden in years. I'll tell you about it. So, it's been three whole weeks. Why is that? Well, regular viewers of the channel, you remember that uh, I hurt my knee, picked up a knee injury, twisted it, and uh, it was far from being right, very painful. And although the physio said I could ride my bike in uh, light duties, as it were, I wasn't 100% convinced it was actually doing me that much good. So in part, not totally, but in part, the layoff was just to rest that a little bit more. The intention had been to just do some very light rides. But then, a couple of weeks ago, three weeks ago, picked up a bit of a chest infection. Not COVID, tested negative. But I know you'll find it's hard to believe, but I have an imperfection. It's on the inside, obviously. I've got a bit of a dodgy windpipe. It was diagnosed back in 2014. And um, basically the pipe that goes down to your lung, I forget what it's called, it's half the thickness it should be. So if you get a bit of a cold and that sort of mucusy thing going on, it makes it collapse. And I have a dreadful cough, which is what I'm left with. And I've had that for the last two weeks, nearly three weeks, which is driving me bloody mad. It's very kin annoying. So those two things conspired a little to keep me off the bike. As you know, the Dirty Reaver's coming up. So, jury's still out. I don't know if it's scuppered those plans or not. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna see how I feel in a week's time. Leaves are coming back on the trees. It's good, isn't it? So my plan had been to uh, get the worst of his cough out of the way, which I thought I'd done last week. And uh, this week, I plan to uh, get back on the bike. As some of you will know, I've been involved in racing scooters, racing Lambrettas for oh, 35 years on and off. And it was the second round of a championship last weekend at Mallory. Mallory Park, Leicestershire, and uh, unfortunately, we had our first fatality racing, which was uh, desperately sad and quite heartbreaking. <coughs> uh, in such a lot of ways, and I think uh, myself, like everybody involved in racing it's a very small community and it's it's hit everybody hard it's the first one we've had first time it's happened we've had injuries we've had crashes and uh fortunately in 50 years we've managed to avoid a fatality until last weekend so uh a couple of riders were involved in the incident but unfortunately stefan stefan manoli he unfortunately passed away in it so uh, yeah, it's been a bit of a hard week in a lot of ways. Certainly the beginning of the week was pretty hard. Certainly didn't feel like riding my bike on Sunday and starting to get on my training on Monday. So it's fair to say that in my last week, it's been probably a, a mental resistance to riding rather than a physical. But I rode yesterday. I did uh, 12 miles yesterday and my knee stood up fairly well. I'm, uh, what am I, uh, sort of seven miles in today now. And it feels okay, but I definitely feel unfit. So uh, hopefully from uh, this weekend on, I'll be able to get back on it. Obviously I started the year really well, 100 mile a week average for the first couple of months. It was actually the most I've ever ridden, ever. 
but that's all falling apart now so getting a hundred mile average is going to take some doing getting back back up at the end of the year but uh 5,000 mile target but we'll see nice to see the green the green shoots coming back on the trees eh soon be summer and it is really nice to be out riding in shorts and short sleeves makes you realize how clumped up you feel doesn't it in the uh in the winter with all those layers Some turf here coming along nicely. So, in other news, the keen eyed amongst you may have spotted I've got a New Jersey. Check this out. I like it. So I had a contact from a company called InBike and uh, they dropped me an email, sent me a link to the website and their, uh, their shirts look really nice. They've brought out some new summer shirts and this is one of them. They actually asked me to pick a, a couple of shirt designs off their website and they very kindly sent me them for review. So I will be doing that in due course. Certainly initial thoughts nicely made very very light definitely a summer shirt I'm quite pleased with them so I'll drop a link below to their website to some of the social media but a full review in due course with summer coming up this could be, uh, could be a very nice addition to my cycling wardrobe In terms of cycling equipment, I also am now the owner, gifted to me by my good friend Tall Phil. We call him that because he's, he's, he's quite tall. But he's gifted me very kindly a power meter. How about that? It won't fit the trek. He's actually got a trek checkpoint as well, and it. No, it don't fit. There's not enough clearance. But it would fit my Planet X summer bike. So over the next few weeks, I shall uh, put that on and uh, keep you guys informed how we get on with it. Could be interesting to see. Need to learn about power. No idea, I'll just ride. Just ride my bike. But we'll see, we'll see what it, what it says. Some more very nice turf over here, look. Look at that, over there. Another thing that the uh, eagle-eyed amongst you may have spotted mud guards are off hooray must be officially summer there's no more rain now no more rain till november you heard it here first mud guards are off so hopefully i can get rid of this cough and uh, get back to the normal schedule of videos. Got a few things in mind, got a couple of trips planned, got a few things to bring you. So hopefully normal service can be resumed. As always, thanks for watching. Nice to be back. I'll see you again in a few days time. Fingers crossed. Bye for now.